In this video, I'm going to show you how I service an ice auger. In this case, it is an Eskimo branded uh, ice auger and it's got Viper on it. But really, this goes for any two stroke engine on an ice auger. I've already drained the gas. Uh, most of the time, gas has sat in there since last season. It's old, it's not good. So I've drained the gas out. I'm gonna take off the cover here, take a quick look at the air filter. I suspect that it's clean uh, since an ice auger is, is ran in a clean environment out on the, the ice, there's not a lot of dirt. And yeah, I mean, the, the filter is perfectly clean. So I suspected that. So we're gonna slide that back on. Next, I inspect the spark plug. These machines usually don't have a ton of hours on them and spark plugs usually look pretty good and this one looks good. So I'm just pulling it over, looking down there. Looks good to me. I also inspect the gas line. I look, I'm looking down in the tank. The line is still intact. The filter is on the end and the filter, whoa. <laughs> the filter is sitting right down here on the bottom, exactly where it should be. So that's good. I inspect the priming bulb, make sure it's not cracked or rotted. And I actually can see there's a little bit of res res residue, residual, we want to call it here, some gas. And it seems to be pumping, so that's good. So we're going to add some gas. This is a 50 to one mix. So if you ever wonder what your ice auger takes, hopefully it's stamped on the gas cap. So this one says 50 to one. So make sure it's on the on position. It's in full choke, we'll prime it. And it is pulling gas good. Oh yeah, this is draining. I pulled a lot there. It's draining right out there. All right, let's try to start her up. Well, it does not want to start. It's kind of sputter sputter. Kind of, not really. So it tells me something, something going on with the carburetor. So we're gonna pull this cover off. Kinda let it dangle. And on the top of the carburetor, there is an adjustment. In this particular case, it takes a pattern called Pac-Man it looks like Pac-Man. So at least we can adjust that. So I'm assuming the carburetor will need some kind of adjustment here. Which way to go? I am guessing it's probably running too rich. So I'm gonna turn it in just a little, not a lot, maybe an eighth of a turn, tiny amount. So I turned it in. I'm gonna try to start it again.
All right. So my suspicion was correct. It was it was running really rich. So I actually turned it down enough that it wouldn't even uh, RPM up because it wasn't getting enough gas. So I just slowly turned that adjustment out until I could give it throttle and it would RPM up. All right, so now we're gonna let it sit. We're gonna let it get cold and we're gonna see how well it starts again. Uh, a few hours is fine. That's late for me, so it'll be the next day. But I wanna try to start this cold and see if the tune we put in it is working or not. It's the next day. And we're gonna see if this sucker will start. <laughs> 